button here. I'm going to hit this button here, and I'm going to say, Greetings, everyone! Welcome! Welcome to Legacies of Cain. Uh, it is, uh, as I would like to describe it, because I'm thinking it probably will be, the penultimate episode, which if you don't know, is the one right before the last. <laughs> is that what that means? It technically means that. I, I, I looked it up because I thought it meant that, and when I looked it up, I'm like, oh, I did think correctly. It's the trick that people always think that penultimate means it, but ultimate is really the best, you know, top one, last one kind of thing, you know? So it's, uh, it's the trick of it. Anyway, yeah, hi everybody. Uh, so we're going to be playing Vampire the Masquerade, and if you've missed any of the previous episodes, please go check them out on YouTube, or, you know, check out last week's episodes at very least, so that you can get an idea of what's going on. But, to recap the basics, effectively there are four individuals that this group needs to gather together in order to unlock the door to the location that they've discovered. Uh, that are linked to these three ancient vampiric chalices. So, you know, assemble the chalices, found the information, located the uh, place they have to go, but now they need four individuals. They have one secure. And they were working on two? Technically three. You were working on all other three. Yeah. So, um... You were looking into. You think that you think that what you need is a uh, a, a fake kin, which the easiest to catch would be a changeling because they physically exist in the world with you. Uh, a hunter, and uh, is everybody dead? No, people are moving. Quiet, no, no, I'm not dead. I mean, in the game. Oh right well, now. where everybody is. Sorry, I see. Like I'm definitely like out of it a little bit because I misread what they were collecting. Put in check. In chat. In oh, check. Wait, wait. Where everyone is dead. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I misread that too. Yeah. I thought it was the thing with the stream. Uh, oh, God. Oh, glorious. Anyway, so yeah. So the plan currently is to uh, look into hunters, uh, the search for Fae continues, and if you are correct about the demons, uh, you have one that you're going to be meeting in Atlanta, I believe I said. Yep. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. So, I think we left off with uh, an unsuccessful uh, amount of adventures for um, Leslie finding a fae. I think that's kind of where we left off. Oh, yeah. Yep. Leslie was, Leslie was, I mean, I, well, no, I actually, a... Leslie hasn't, yeah, I, I hit up a couple bars <clears throat> and did my uh, ore check, though, sorry. Yeah, and you were, didn't find anything at those bars. Yeah, and then the meal was at a Starbucks or somewhere. You broke into a Starbucks. Mm-hmm. And I did find them. Actually, you did find, have... you did find a number of individuals that could possibly be the hunter you're looking for. Uh, you are guessing it's not the businessman that works at the place, uh, maybe not the delivery driver. You're going for, it could very well be, the student at Columbia University. Yep. So, that's where we left off, I think. So, um, you can reconvene, and what is your plan from now? Um, it is probably getting on to be, you know, like towards the morning kind of thing, so definitely uh, probably don't want to do anything else this evening, but you do have a number of leads. What is the plan for the continued search for hunters and fays for tomorrow? Or you can wait till tomorrow evening and we can skip ahead to, you know, sleeping through the day. Well, I mean... I'm not going to be able to help much until Georgia, I think. So it's all on uh, Emil and Leslie on this one, apparently. Unless, unless you want me to try and pick up the girl from Columbia University. Twenty twenty one. Nineteen. 
1940s outfit. No, 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 not 1940s outfit. Full Dracula get up. <laughs> Is it Halloween by chance? No. No. That's what, that's my, uh, that's the theme of the gym. Mm hmm. And all of my employees. Uh huh. I mean, I got confirmation that apparently Satyrs can show up at bars, so I guess I'm just bar hopping again. Mm hmm. Very easy thing to do. Uh, certainly, you could probably uh, taper your selection of bars to very much more rave happy places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got some information, you know, uh, that would. And probably looking through the. Does anybody want to look through the dissertation? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. <laughs> I think that was uh, Nathan was doing that. Right? <laughs> Unless you guys want me to do something else, I am down for <laughs> this <right> yeah. <laughs> Looking through a dissertation and trying to understand it. Yeah. Uh, you know, that yep. sounds like a lot of fun, but uh, <laughs> I've got these other things to do, so if you want to take care of it, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. A madman, a madman's dissertation. <laughs> also... I just realized something that I might be able to use. I'm going to need to figure out how. Mm. But I did mention my character used to teach programming at a college before he was vamped. You could uh, look I in. I need to figure out how to use that. That doesn't. That could be helpful. I'm not going to say it's not, but I, I, will up to be, I will leave it up to you to be creative on that one. So, um, if, Leslie, if you want to hit up nightclubs, why don't we start with you? Uh, you can probably do that pretty heavily. You, like, if you want to say, like, you want to check out, like, a nightclub an hour, at various different ones, kind of give a scan of it. Um, that's Probably, def like, one every two hours just to be a little less creepy. Okay. At least spend some time in the, in the clubs and not just be someone who shows up and disappears. Okay. Um, I will need for you to... I think we were having you make, uh, like, appearance etiquette checks to kind of, like, blend in with the crowd. Yeah, it was, like, appearance or edi and etiquette or other things, but I think they all end up having the exact same result, so... Okay. So we'll just... Oh, what about uh, appearance subterfuge? Yeah, you could play that off. Appearance from the future. I think you could do that. You could be kind of like uh, yeah. trying to like kind of hide stuff more. Uh, so honestly, I think it's just a challenge against you know who might notice you and like think it's very strange. Uh, so I might make like some rolls to like you know see if you might stand out in a you know crowd or something. Uh, okay. It's not bad, though. Uh, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and why don't you then roll me an Auspex check for the first club? We'll do, uh, four clubs here. I think that's probably a good amount that you can get in the evening before, like, things get too late. One. Okay. Two. Three and oh, that one's really good. Aspect check four. Okay. Watch it be the the third one. There, there's just no Fey there anyway. <laughs> and there's a Fey at the second club, but I can't see shit. I'm too busy staring at someone dancing. Okay. Um. Let's get over to here. Uh, I'm not going to even roll for the uh, one that you botched on. You did not find anything on that one. Okay. Um, 
You, in fact, probably, like, are scared off of that one as you think you're being watched by, like, a group of vampires that might be involved with a certain uh, lady who might be mean to you. <laughs> I leave a note at that one. <laughs> okay. Now, granted, whether or not that's actually accurate. Yeah, yeah. But I've got a, I've got a feeling, so I'm going to do it just in case. Leslie was here. Okay. Probably spelled collect correctly instead of the childish like he are. Yes, no, he, he is not doing W U Z H E A R. No, no, excuse you. I'm a refined gentleman spy. Thank you very much. Uh, Most let's see time. here. I need you to roll. Uh, for okay, I need you to roll me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way, uh, just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, Roll me a d6. Okay. Okay, roll me 3d6. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and we do not have to worry about the last one. Okay. So. Guys, I found a vein. Maybe. Ladder 10 just rolled it in. There was no fey there. Uh-huh. So, as you are going around at the third nightclub... So now this is, like, getting up towards probably, uh, like, the... Like, you start probably, like, around, like, 8 o'clock was when you get to, like, the first major club. But, you know, and that one was the one that was, like, it was okay. There wasn't really anything there. And then, like, the next it's one... It opens early. It's a bad club anyway. Yeah. Uh, the next club was the one that was kind of around, like, 10 o'clock and... <laughs> That one, there was some parties going, but again, like, felt like you might be watched there. You, you, again, you're not sure if that was the 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 uh, the, the sweets us club owned by sweets, but definitely, you got the feeling that there was a bunch of like vampires around. Like you, you only got like glimpses of them, like on the edge of your perception, kind of things, you know. Uh, and then they were gone, so it was very kind of like worrisome, and you kind of had to like. Uh, eventually had to, like, kind of pop out early. But no, now you're at this club. It's past midnight. Uh, it's like a, it's like a techno rave club. So there's, like, there's these, like, colored blinking lights. Uh, lots of, like, um, glow sticks. Uh, a fluorescent paint and things like that going on. And, like, you're just, like, kind of, like, looking through the dark and the various auras. And most of them you're getting, like, all these different emotions and stuff. But... They all appear relatively normal human auras. And then you pick out a bit of something unusual. Rainbow colors at the edge of one of them. Um, you can kind of like, give me at this point in time uh, are you just approaching it? Because you're catching it in the crowd, in the, in the dance no, I'm crowd. No, I'm not approaching it. I'm, I'm observing first. Okay, so you're going to go watch for a while? Uh, then give me a just a perception alertness to see how well you just notice who's there uh, in the dark nightclub. Uh, okay, okay. Side thing, can I also make a perception awareness? Because awareness is dealing with supernatural. Sure. Okay, two rolls coming up. Mm -hmm. There's that one, and then we need mm -hmm. the on uh, Melee. Okay. Perception melee! Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. <laughs> cool. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um. So. Supernaturally trying to, like, you know, uh, parse out what's going on here, becoming aware of the unusual nature of the place. There does seem to be just a little bit more, like, um, something odd going about it. And, like, I, 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 you think at first you might have passed it off for something like, maybe there's a bunch of people using drugs. It's a nightclub. But as you're kind of, like, looking more, you begin to identify that, like, it seems as though there's some kind of maybe thing affecting the minds of those, giving them like 
more intenseness to the party. And you begin to see where the aura that you saw was attached to. Uh, brief glimpses of what looks to be a, uh, a relatively tall, uh, short-haired woman um, with uh, all kinds of, like, um, glow... Like, got, like, the glow rings on, like, the glow sticks that have been, like, rung up and, like, the floss for with paint. Uh, very scantily clad, who seems to be dancing in amongst the crowd. Um, can I try and sort of... I mean, there, there was the appearance of the Fuge one earlier, just to, you know, be relatively unnoticed in bars. Mm -hmm. Is that going to carry over for whatever this effect is, or should I make one to try and play off that, yeah, I'm totally affected by this too, I'm getting out of yeah. That would be a different uh, check at this point okay. in time. Because you've noticed there's something unusual. Okay. Same thing? Percept, uh, appearance subterfuge? Or something? You could definitely do that. Appearance subterfuge. Don't screw me now, please. Okay. Hey! <laughs> so you basically can like, kind of meld into the crowd, into the dance. There will be one other check I'm going to need from you, though, uh, to make sure to... Because you can like kind of like do the basics. But I'm going to need a... Uh, probably... Uh, it's going to be a performance of something. You gotta be. You gotta dance, man. Easy, easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, probably charisma performance. Uh huh. I don't suppose there's any chance <laughs> that I can use brawl instead of performance. <laughs> um. I mean, isn't that sort of like a dance? Um, <laughs> I don't think you know a martial art, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> if you knew some kind of martial arts, I'm sure you could well, probably get away with it. But I don't did, think Leslie does. Did any does. American three-letter organization in the 1940s, 50s, 60s use martial arts? How many levels of broad do you have? Four. Four. Um, so almost max. Honestly, then I guess you could roll some kind of like kung fu fighting kind of thing <laughs> oh, but yeah. it's gonna be a higher difficulty i'm gonna tell you that what what are the two what are the two dcs uh everybody knows kung, kung fu, fu fighting. fighting to not only do a kung fu fighting like you know like dance uh -huh. sort of thing but pass oh, it off no, like, better uh -huh. lightning hit west side story that, that's a musical that would have been out at my time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just gonna just gonna do that. It's it's still that's still a that's still a charisma performance to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even if you're doing that, it's just it's it's not only doing that, it's blending in with like, you know, like that's that's an appropriate dance. Cause not only are you trying to act like the, the general public in here as you're moving around, you're also trying to move out onto the dance floor. Well, actually, now that you mention it, what if this dance is less about blending and more about getting attention, but still looking like I'm under the effect of the thing? Okay, okay. Um, what if I want to draw? Then I would say manipulation, uh, probably performance at that point in time. God damn it. My charisma and manipulation are both the same. They're both a four. My performance is zero. Uh-huh. I'm very good at the spy attributes. Charisma, manipulation, appearance, four, four, three. Uh-huh. And I'm finally getting to use them, but I don't have performance! <laughs> it's not a dance master. Okay. The, the the manipulation performance, what would the DC be there? Uh, honestly, I'd probably just stick you at, like, a six, probably, we could say. Yeah. That's that's and to kind of pull off that you're kind of, like, uh, 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 a much more blend in with the crowd. Oh no, you're you're trying to you're trying to stand out with that one. That yeah. one you're trying to like draw attention that you're trying to like maybe do a unique dance different than anybody else that might be unusual and strange. Make so it look like I'm more fun. See, the thing than is in that case it's sort of like your performance matters but not as much as like the ability to manipulate them and that's kind of where right. it is, you know? 
so if I want to draw the eye with the kung fu one and do manipulation brawl, what would the DC be there? It's like, t- t- nine? Like nine? To not look really, 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 really weird. Oh, fine, manipulation by itself when I'm burning a willpower. All right. <laughs> Like, cause I I don't I I see you having like formal training and like some kind of like uh like unarmed combat, yeah. But I do not see the nineteen sixties CIA teaching you like a formal martial arts where you could use it like in very artistic ways. Jason Bourne would like to disagree. Was he from the nineteen sixties or the nineteen nineties? I don't know. They never specified. Nineteen nineties like... or two thousands. No, no, no. It was like the... I think it might be the nineties. It's like still just post wall coming down. I think was the original born. Well, you were nineteen fifties. You yeah. are you are very much so earlier <laughs> in time. Three successes. Okay, you still rolled well. Uh, so, uh, you were you're just you're just you're just doing a dance, drawing the attention, like you know, like get into the groove. Um. <clears throat> um while you're doing that for a little bit, uh, it seems as though you will draw the attention of the woman you're looking for, uh, who moves in and starts uh, dancing. You just activate a dance-off. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's see here. Round one. Dance! Okay. Uh, she puts together something that would be, like, you went in there with this really unique kind of set that you just kind of improvised quickly off the friend. She just kind of like, uh, pretty much she doesn't seem to like, you know, at this point in time like, blow you out of the water, but kind of matches what you are with those kind of like, you know, techno moves. So it's like, you can see the, the crowd is kind of forming around you as they're all kind of grooving around you know, like, just like doing like, you know like movements and like the the, 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 the weird like uh, phosphorescent like lights are like blinking in on you you know like the uh weird like colored lights that aren't really like lighting up the place very well but still like being spotlights you know on the on the crowd Uh uh-huh all right i'm gonna spend she's gonna and then kind of stop after it and kind of just like kind of like do a bring it on all right um i'm gonna set my game up then Mm -hmm. um do i want to jump straight to kung fu (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep the same type of roll for for round two. Mm-hmm. We kind of we kind of tied it a little bit, so mm-hmm. you know, just manipulation performance, aka four dice. Mm-hmm. Mm, what, what is with all the ones? Okay, so you, you kind of just like get it down and like, kind of like uh, double down on what you're doing. So you can see her kind of like uh, snicker a bit to herself, like. <laughs> As then uh, she breaks it down for something, and uh, oh Jesus, uh, she does like uh, this thing where you are pretty sure you do not know how she does it. Uh, she does like a like uh, a, a backflip as part of her entire thing. Oh, I'm dexterous as hell. I can match that. But you like the crowd is really impressed by her, and you know, like like cheering her on now. She really hyped them up. Uh-huh. How many willpower can I spend at a time? Technically, I think one. Damn. Mm-hmm. I, I was absolutely going to burn my last two to get this bay on our side. Um. <laughs> not exactly the same. It's Kung Fu time. <laughs> okay. Alright. Manipulation Brawl. Actually, it doesn't even need manipulation. Because I'm going to throw a backflip in there. Dex Brawl. Okay. You're gonna do kick-ass, like, you know, like, leaps and bounds and, like, you know, mm-hmm. kung fu fighting. Okay. Can I use my deck specialty for this? What is your deck specialty? Lightning reflexes. Probably not for this one here. Throwing in backflips? Even throwing in backflips. Oh. Alright. Let's do this. I'm, I'm absolutely bringing my willpower here. I really want this to roll high. I'd love to see this, like, even though it's a difficulty 9... Just every single dice, nines and tens. Please, it'd be beautiful. I beg you. Spent the willpower, one automatic success, go! 
<laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, you finally then go down to this, like, you know, like, uh, thing where you do, like, uh, you start by, like, doing, like, a, a backflip back, and then, like, a, like, a, a, like, a kick straight up, where you would, like, you know, like, you manage to get your, like, leg all the way, like, straight up, like, with your flexibility, and then you do, like, a, like, forward roll, like that, like, kind of roll kick forward, um, and then, like, you know, you, like, uh, do the punches out, and then, like, kind of go down for this, like, kind of, like, leg sweep, so it's kind of, like, a cool combination of, uh, little moves, there uh that you do with extreme precision and at the end i'm just gonna put my hands on my hips and just chin up better mm -hmm. she's just gonna kind of go elegant deep bow mm -hmm. okay um so she's going to try something a little bit more difficult. And uh, so she's going to kind of like, what she's going to do is she's going to start by kind of like, uh, like kind of like moving around you. And then she's going to actually do like flipping, like almost like dance moves off the nearby crowd, kind of like hitting into them and bouncing off of them, but doing it in like in such a way to like not affect them as if like they're like just for a second, like, whoa, damn, you know? Um, and then she's gonna kind of like also do like a big old bow to you afterwards <laughs> and the crowd is like really revved up at both of you at this point in time <laughs> yeah the, the techno dance music's just gone maybe in the background you can get away with a certain amount of discipline usage without obviously being supernatural, right? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to think how I can one up this. She's very good at what she does, and it feels like, you know, she at very least uh, matched you on that one. Can I just, you can use, is it one step or two? that you can use of any discipline without being I think it's as long as you don't go over five, which is the human limit, right? Oh, uh, no, not for disciplines. I think oh, celerity, oh, okay. like, two you can get away with, usually, I think it is. Beyond, after that, it starts getting really... a little too quick. Okay. So, final round, because after this, I got nothing else <laughs> that I can think of. Can I do a dex cultural? Using, because a cult, uh, I have a, a specialty of a cult dealing with the abyss, and I want to use a tenebration and celerity to, especially with everyone on whatever drugs they're on and whatever effect she's on, and with all the darkness in the room and the lights flashing, I want to make it look like I'm dancing with my own shadow by literally dancing with my own shadow. Hmm. Okay. That can I do that? You could theoretically try to do that. Um, you could probably pass it off because a lot of people are like brain high here. They probably don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling she'll know, but that's fine because getting her on our side, she's gonna know what we are anyway. And this is the best thing I can think of that I could do. Okay, so Dex Occult. Dex a cult, so that's controlling shadow, using two points of celerity. Mm -hmm. And oh, does the, the specialty with the occult of dealing with the abyss, dancing with my own shadow, mm -hmm. will that specialty work? I don't think lightning reflexes applies. And what's, do you have any other specialties? Not lightning reflexes, a cult. Oh, a cult. What's your... A cult, the abyss. The abyss. Uh, oh, and that's... I'm using oh, sorry. my... Yeah, I'm using my powers. Oh. I'm using a tenebration uh... to dance with myself. 
So it's sure. Of it's you know like what? Sure. Controlling the shadow in a way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hell yes. Dex occult. Additional two pool from celerity. Mm -hmm. uh, what difficulty? What's the standard difficulty for your use of a tenebration for a uh, shadow Good question. question. Give me a second. Uh, I actually have to check that. I can look that up too if you, you don't get to it before me. Uh, if it's shadow play, then there's no difficulty. Shroud of Night is difficulty 7. Uh, yeah, any anyone that has an uh, a difficulty to use is difficulty 7. This one's pretty difficult, I've got to admit. I'd say go for difficulty 8. Okay, difficulty 8. Two additional pool. Exploding 10s. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I'm gonna burn my last willpower to get to to make hopefully make this absolutely pop. <laughs> five, no exploding tens, but five successes. Okay. All right. So you do this kind of like routine, kind of like uh, kind of doing the dance you were doing earlier that you already kind of established kind of randomly but you do that kind of with this like own shadow that kind of like seems to like move across the crowd as you kind of like circle around like the crowd so like to others it just seems like you're using the lights that are there to like cast a shadow and seemingly like fighting with that and like doing this kind of like fight dance with that which looks pretty cool uh the person in the center can definitely she can definitely tell something unusual is going on Entirely fair. Five successes, come on. Yep. And then I have five dice that are like seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, so on. Come on, work. Nope. That is that is opening an ad. That is not moving through this website. Uh, that I'm checking something on. I have an opening a book because uh, I Leslie gets a fake girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Don't worry about broke boundaries by making friends with adventure. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Break another one. Okay. She's going to do something. Um, I'm gonna. That's what he's looking up. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. So she's just kind of like, kind of like, kind of like stamp a foot down as you feel as though it looks as though like the the blinking lights kind of swirl around you mm -hmm. as it kind of like it, it looks as though like it's almost like a psychedelic effect you would think like the the blinking lights as then she kind of like you know it seems as though like uh the music and the um sound and stuff just kind of like uh just kind of like goes around her kind of like kind of like kind of like moving as she kind of like does this kind of like sensual like uh dance that it you begin to notice that like all of the folks around there seem to kind of almost be like matching with her for a bit welcome new citizen of the empire oh, sweet 
so it it, it and, and it kind of culminates in this like you know like thing where she kind of like hits it as all the lights kind of move out of the way it kind of like as everything goes dark for just a second and like the music stops and um All right, uh, and so you'll hear a voice. Okay, Leech, come with me. I'm in. I'm in. So snap a finger, and the dance party will resume. I'm following her. She's gonna lead you off to the bar. As she orders like uh, some like uh, a fr like some kind of really fruity drink that's like a specialty of this place, uh, you know, it's got like a weird twisted straw. Uh, it's kind of made to like kind of like almost look like it's glowing a little bit under the light, you know, uh, of of the of the building, you know. So it looks like you're drinking some kind of glowing liquid. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's gonna kind of like side eye you and be like, "You want one?" I mean, I wouldn't say no, but wouldn't really go anywhere. Like She'll kind of snicker and be like, So, what do you want? You're obviously not here for a hunt. I know what you folks do. I'm not an idiot. And obvious, you were looking around for, I don't know, a party? Something fun? My kind and your kind don't usually get along. Not usually, but who says that always has to be the case? Sometimes it's fun to break some boundaries, don't you think? No breaking any boundaries. Personally, I don't know if the stories are true that I've given about you, but uh, many of my kind believe that uh, you're similar to our own, although you fall into the bane. I suppose you can see... Hmm. Little differences here and there, but not too, too dissimilar. And you're right, I'm not here for hunt. Not really. On one hand, looking for some fun is absolutely correct. We've had an interesting couple of months, and, you know, letting loose sometimes is fun. Especially when you can find a fun dance bar. Hmm. On the other hand, there is an ulterior motive. Go on. I was trying to find one of your pets. They're not exactly the easiest people to find. And uh, our crew is in need of well, one of yours for a job halfway across the world. Being completely upfront from you, from you. Uh, there, my brain's fried a bit. Um, being completely upfront with you from the start, since I find out either way, and to be honest, well, yeah, we need your help. If you'd be willing to. Hmm. Well, she's gonna kind of eye you up for a little bit. What really do you need my help for? Halfway across the world seems a big ask for someone to travel. And what would you need a Kithkin for? I would love to answer that. All of the potentialities that could exist. Unfortunately, I have very good life. Uh, we need four different people. Four different... Well, three different bloodlines, actually. Two of them are the exact same bloodline, but one's angry. Something. There's this prophecy thing. Basically, we're trying to stop the end of the world, and we may actually be crazy. We don't know. But, on the off chance that everything that's happening is real, I think that's probably a better idea to follow it through its conclusion. As for what we need you and the others for, I honestly have no idea. There is a door that needs to be opened, and apparently, the, the rest of the Prophecy says we need four different people who have to be in that presence before the door will open. If you have 
any ability to detect untruths or anything, I encourage you to make use of them. Hmm. I'm giving you everything I have at the moment. Not exactly the most subtle attempt at you know, bringing somebody in for a job, but... She's going to think for a mi minute and uh, um, she's then going to kind of uh, turn towards you and be like, hmm. See some sights, have some fun, hope be fun. And after everything else I've seen in the past couple months, I'd rather have just a nice some time somewhere. And all the expenses would be covered in case you are worried about that. Uh, give me a second here because I've got to get this correct. Um... I had a plan at the start and then I just went up the window. <laughs> it was like, uh, we really just need. We really need a play. And if this doesn't work, I'm out of willpower, so I don't think I can pull mm -hmm. off the stuff I did. Uh. Should be like. If you need my help, then I will need your help with something in the future. There's a few things that I can think of. A trade. A trade. But perhaps we can do something a little bit more formal, an agreeance. I'm sure you don't remember, you, your kind don't remember the words long accepted. But I can reteach you, if you want to hear it. I'd love to. She will start by saying, Lay down your burden that I may take it up. The road is long. I swear I shall bear it for you until all roads end. I shall be the one to accompany you to open your door in a far off land. To find the truths with the, four other, with the three others. Else the road cease to lay beneath my feet. Now for you. Which means it's in the throat. Yes. I think. I'm sorry, I just figured out which one of these is most appropriate this time. There's a couple of different ones. Not that one. Sorry. I was going to say, this is going pretty well. Mm hmm. Not that one. Well, the easy one was out of the way. The, uh, I feel like the second hardest may be out of the way. And then Nathan just has to talk to the weird doctor, sir, or detective, man. Yep. <clears throat> and then we just have to get the hunter. Easy. So, uh, so she will give you the words. So here is the first. Uh, I will put this fully into the chat here. Yep. Um... And there's a little bit more here that I've got to type out because i got to put in uh, the exact thing here. Whoops. That was a shift. And done. And... Out of character, how binding is that? Basically, what's happening is she's made an oath to you, and she's having you make an oath to her. They are basically okay. similar to the gas that uh, Dra uh, Gila puts you on. 
Okay. Granted, you are not necessarily changeling, so you do not know the exact results of breaking it. Mm. I certainly don't intend to break it. I'm just saying that there, so far there's no limit in how long I serve her, but you know what? We're saving the world! Mm -hmm. There you go. Is that the full of it? Yes. Alright. <clears throat> oh, I should probably, probably give her a full name. Uh, it's, uh... Well, I don't know yet. Here. Unless you give it. Lapis Lazare. At least that's the name she gives. Okay. As the sun guards the earth by day, stars by night, so shall I serve thee. This is my duty. I shall not abandon Lapis till the quest is done and my payment is made for deeds done. Else may the stars close their eyes and sleep. Okay. Well, that was much shorter than I was expecting, to be honest. You leeches are so strange, then. Your words too long. A simple oath is all you need. All you need to give, and all you need to say. Honestly, I kind of agree at this point. That was much easier than the last... I uh, can't give the details. But the last binding thing that I dealt with was much more complicated. I'll say I prefer this one. Oaths can be given in various ways and must be kept. Your quest is now my quest. Find them, well, and I will... Mine. And the payment will be made once it is done. I will see what kind of man you are, what kind of beast you are, whether the bane has truly taken you, or is there some hope for the unexistence that you have. And I will make a decision as to the true payment and the nature of it once we are done. Uh, well. Till then, do you require me to follow you now? I have much merriment to be had, or we can uh, break for now. I was going to ask you why to go back to the party. She'll kind of give a wry smile and then be like, then come. The night is still young. All right. Why don't we take our first break here and we'll figure out what, uh, <laughs> what, uh, Emil is doing, uh, out of college. Emil's going back to school. Your turn. <laughs> I did my part. You had an awesome dance off with a fey lady, <laughs> <laughs> and then made some kind of deal with her, which mm -hmm. is very appropriate. I was looking up some stuff about fey and how they react to vampires, and there are some things that are very appropriate on here. And we'll just leave it at that. But uh, break for now. Snacks, drink, bathroom break. Go ahead and take a move. We'll be back in a little bit here. Beep, and the top screen goes away and we are back okay so leslie's made a new uh friend let's turn to a meal what's your plan emil you got a college to visit so you're going to we said it was i think columbia yeah, Columbia College. Columbia University. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So. I'm going to. What does contacts work? Contacts. Um. You contact them. They roll some stuff for you. What kind of what kind of contact do you have? On your eyes. Technically, my contact was like um, computer related. Although I think it was like um, people from my old college and stuff. Mm. What it was. Um, okay. But my goal is to see if I can get some use a contact to get in contact with someone from the university who might be. 
Okay. Um, certainly you could contact your contact um, and see about, like, if, if you need to talk to someone at the university, they probably want to know about what. So... Probably shoot the person in the email basically being like, hey, it's been a while, blah, 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 blah. Um, Let's see, I probably go like, um, there's a, let me ask you this to make it a little easier. How are you going about this? Are you looking for the per Are you trying to find out who this woman is? Uh, this girl in the hoodie? Yeah, so so the first thing is basically just to figure out who she is so I can get in contact with her. I was thinking of going, if I could get, like, talk to someone like, at the college in a more official aspect, I might be able to get that information. Um... Um, like honestly, I'm just trying to think of like where to go, like how to. Go. Yeah, that that can be a difficult um, thing. Like getting in contact with having your contact throw you like, hey, this is the person you have to talk to about finding an individual. That's easy. Now you're going to need good reasoning that they're going to help you, though. You know. Uh, yeah, and that's and especially with only one, you're not going to do anything illegal. No. One is like. Yeah, I'll help you if I have time. You know, what I understand. Well, I mean, like um, they could be like, "Hey, this is the person to get in contact with. If you need help, uh, you're, you're going to need an official reason. Like if you're working for a detective yeah. agency or something, or the cops or something like that. Or if, like, there has to be a good reason behind find, helping you find someone. And even then, um, you technically don't have the full information. You've got like a partial." ID. I have, a, I have. I have a. I have the school in the face, <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, but probably, probably start. Mm. Hey Nathan, I'm trying to do an angle here. What do you think would be a good way to go about this? Do an angle. Uh, probably use a protractor. Uh, try, well. I found out this person, and I'm trying to figure out who she is. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what angle to come in to some old friends and see if I can get their help without sounding creepy. Did you try Google? <laughs> I mean, a school on the face. I guess I could. Would. Perhaps Facebook? Could be a lot of people to search through. I could, in theory, do that. I don't have a name. That's the problem. Ah, fair enough. Uh, what about uh, hacking into the uh, Columbia University student files? Well, that might actually just be something. I imagine Samuel would be able to help you with that if you need anything. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That'd be easier. <laughs> Very well. No using background for me. Let's just go and uh, do some hacking. Just gonna do some hacking? That sounds good. Yep. Alright, um... I guess intelligence computers, uh, any kind of, like, hacking bonuses, uh, apply. Uh, Minus two difficulty, I guess. Yeah, um, and, and Columbia University, things. you're just trying to get into their network and try to find, like, I guess, pictures? Or what? I'm just trying to get the student profile. Like, so students usually do have a picture in their yep. profile. Yep. Um, so I'm just trying to get, just hack into the student profile. It's probably a good way to buy it. Okay. Trying to see if I can, and then at that point, 
It's honestly just scrolling through a list of students at that point until I find someone who looks the same. <laughs> I'm going to give you difficulty 8, so be 6 with your subtraction. Intelligence computers? Yep. Alright, yeah. Um, you can get into their system. That doesn't end up being a problem. Um, honestly, you know, it, it, it takes you a, a little bit here, but it's not too bad. Um, once you get into their system, um, it's actually pretty easy to uh, kind of like start looking through it. Um, Oh boy, are you going through current students, former students? What are you doing? There are. I'm going through students who were enrolled three years ago. Whatever. When when was it posted? When did when did she? Was it year? No, it was three months. Or six months ago? Eight months ago? What was it? How it was it was months ago. Yeah. Then they probably. Basically, I'm looking for basically last semester. Yeah, okay. Through this list of students who are enrolled in last semester. Okay. Alright. Uh oh god. Uh Perception something. That's a good thing to go with perception for this one. Let me check what dice options I have. Uh there you are. Perception uh investigation? Sure. Investigation sounds yeah, correct. Uh, honestly, like, I'm going to give you another difficulty eight. You're going through something, and there's a lot of folks to go through. Because, like, even, like, you've got all the different years and, like, all the different versions of students. And, like, so you're going through thousands and thousands of names. Oh. Um, does perception attentive fly here? Yes, it does! Alright, so that's my specialty. Okay, there you go. You got a specialty which applies. It doesn't matter. If I got two, and we can use it. So it's just two. Okay. Alright. But still, you take some time and you browse. And it will take you quite a while uh, to browse through everything. You just keep going through it, going through it, and it, it's like mind numbing for a while because like you're at this for hours because like you're it's a little bit more than just like looking quickly you're like you're you're you're, you're you have the image like you know like a freeze frame of the image up so you can like at least compare it to get close and i mean like there's a few close hits but as you like look closely you're like nah that's not the late that's not her that's not her uh but eventually like you do hit on one that looks like you think could be it. Um, he hits on one, huh? I'm hoping I'm spelling that name uh, correctly, because I might not be. Uh, Meredith. Uh, oh, that's how it's spelled. Thank you. I would not have spelled that correctly. <laughs> Usually. Uh, Theodorson. Meredith Theodorson. Theodorson. Okay. Um, according to her record, uh, she is a senior, but was taking the current semester off. Okay. Does her file have an address? Her file has a address for her family, uh, which is not right, in the that, city. That actually, yeah, uh, that's they are they are out of state, um, so they are up in uh, Vermont. So they have a Vermont address, and she did have a address on campus, um, but that was from last semester.
so. so whether or not she's at that place now probably not as it was technically housing related to the school uh, you're not sure the thing is your image says that she's in the city during the, la the time that she's supposed to be off Yeah. Um, okay. And in the area. Hey, Nathan, do you have any good ways of finding people? Mm. Wait. I'm going to look around on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Uh, you should be able to find her on Facebook. It'll take a little while. I'm not going to have you roll for it. Um, but you can take a little time to do it. Uh, yeah, she posted a lot until about, uh, eight months ago. About when she posted the things. The things just stop all of a sudden. There have been no posts since then. She seemed like a lively student, involved in a lot of student activities, um, you know, um, part of a number of uh, extracurricular activities at the college, you know, things like that. You know, I'm going to do, I'm going to search for any news articles around that time that may have mentioned something happening to a girl from Columbia University, from the time she saw Okay. Uh, I'm curious if there is some kind of police report or something that happened that may give me more information about. Uh, uh if you take if you use People that date supernatural. Yeah, if you use that date if, if you use that as a date the last time she posted and search for that. Um, honestly, there's probably a great number of reports in that during that time frame, like news articles of yeah. things that happened. Um. Well, I'm crossing that specifically with, like, student from Columbia University. Um, that line. None mention a student from Columbia University. I will tell you that. And I'm not using that date specifically. I'm doing that. I know. You're doing it. Probably two. Yeah. Around that area. Yeah. None will mention yeah. a student from Columbia University. Do any of them mention yeah. Meredith Theodorson? No. None of them mention Meredith Theodorson. Uh, some of them mention individuals. Um, some of them give some basic information that can eliminate them. Um, but you estimate there's probably about 12 in incidents that at least are on record and that were in the newspaper that could match to that. Um, two of them were attempted assaults uh, of women. Uh, three of them uh, were murder cases with some witnesses. Um, two of them were... Uh, and this is in the nearby area, too, I will say. Uh, two of them, uh, well, one of them was a uh, dog attack. One of them was a uh, bear attack. Uh, so let me actually list this. Uh, two assaults, three murders, two animal-related. Um, How many bears do they usually get in New York City. Uh, it was outside New York City, in the nearby area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just... yeah it's generally in the region. If she had gone on vacation... It, it was probably assumed if she had gone on vacation somewhere nearby, or like a small trip, you know. In the, but it's in the nearby region. Uh, things that match during that time frame. Um, I, I'm assuming that a meal's taking hours to comb through, you know, stuff at this point in time. Oh, yeah. I'm, just... I, I'm willing to take, like, a game to Uh, a building collapse happened during that time period. Uh, not a major one, but a, a, enough to cause some damage. And uh, two fires and uh, one uh, explosion and one uh, one mysterious uh, car crash. Um, where the cause of the car crash was never determined, I will say. Okay. So that one's on for a reason, but 
all of them have a little bit of oddities to them too. It's like you know, that might imply supernatural. But again, like all of them could probably be explained by something mundane, you know, too. Of course, um, like that's how things work. It's mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like I'm trying to see if there's a way to. Actually... Yeah, these are all ones that um, don't either mention individuals that could match the description without any, without much information. Don't mention individuals, uh, and also don't have a lot of answers, which I feel like are the, probably the three things you're looking for. Any of those things happen nearby where she used to live? Uh. Yeah, near near the, yes. near the college. Yes. Three of uh, actually four of them did happen in the Manhattan area. Um. I will say it's one of the uh, assaults. Uh, the the dog attack. Uh, the building collapse, and one of the fires all happened uh, in the uh, area of Manhattan, close enough to the college that it could be related to her, and because she was living on like. Not like the apartment areas of the college, you know. So she had gotten to that level where she was an apartment with probably a few other people, you know. Okay. What in her original message, or the message that I used to track her down, was there any specific type of supernatural that was mentioned? Um. I know you said that school is sympathetic, but you mentioned like. Oh, yeah, um, hmm, I unfortunately can't recall what I said originally, so I will just change it to something. I don't think he gave it, I don't think he gave a detail. I think I was said, pretty was vague, said. because it was pretty yeah. vague on the messaging. Um, yeah. I'd say the way it poses out. It sounds as though, like, from the description of what it is, because it does keep very... It, it's very vague details, because, again, like, it's... As much as this is, like, online somewhere, it's not, like, a necessarily hidden place, per se, you know? Yeah. So it, it implies that um, something strange happened, and um, I, it will mention a friend... Uh, faced the results of it and unfortunately like lost their life. That will be mentioned. A friend will be lost their life. Which one of the okay, which one of these have multiple people? Let's see here. You can probably cut out both of the assaults. I'm gonna be honest on them. Uh, the murders would still be related. Um the dog attack can go away, but not the bear. Uh, the collapsed building did have a death related to it. Uh, one of the fires did. The explosion and the car crash. So you will eliminate one, two, three, four automatically then. And was it the fire near the... Uh, not, now, obviously, crossing that with the ones you said were near the college, the building collapsed and the fires... Was the fire, uh, the, the fire that had the person die in it happen near the college? Um, I did say one of the fires did was near the college. Yeah. Then I will say that one, yes. That one was one of the ones. So those do meet there at least. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be three murder. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should be eight still. We've eliminated four, and there was uh, one, two, three, four in the area. So there's four in the area, which some of them don't match up. So there's two from the in the Manhattan area close enough to it that both did have death, that were also related to death. But again, doesn't necessarily mean it, but you have cut down some of the list. Very interesting avenue I'm going down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope you have not decided that I am going down a red herring, but... <laughs> mm. 
well, when she's not on campus, I'm not supposed to be looking in a while. The only other except things I could do is talk to her friends. And or actually, you know what? What class did you say she had? Uh, she was into. Uh, I'll say she was a um, physics major. I'll say physics major. Like one of the, one of the very hard sciences. Some kind of uh, m minor in uh, some kind of mechanical related thing or something. I I'm not good at all the minors that it could be, like mechanical engineering or something. Probably probably if would complete college uh, ed uh, education would maybe not become a physicist would become like. A person that works with mechanical engineers because you've got some knowledge of mechanical engineering, but it isn't your specialty. To like do the like a lot of the heavy physics and stuff, you know. So it's like it's still like you have your role in a, you know, engineering group or something. Anyway. You get advice from Ryan and Nathan. They could probably help out. They're hanging around. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think I should do next? <laughs> I'll give them. I'll give Nathan and Ryan. Advice. Okay. So I could go and see if I can talk to like some of the professors somehow, or I could talk to friends, or I could look in these places. Let's see if I can get them. Well, uh, one thought is to pose as a family member from somewhere, <clears throat> coming to sent by her family to, uh, or even not a family member, just a, an investigator sent by her family to uh, find out where she's been. Because if her posts have entirely stopped, I'd say that it's unlikely that uh, her parents know where she is. The issue is this requires me to talk. <laughs> well, you have an address for her parents, correct? Yes. Probably phone number. You want two. me to call them? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're contacting yeah. Vermont. Probably early in the evening, you know. Yep. <clears throat> Hello there, uh, Theaterson residents. What can I do for you? Hello. Uh, I'm from the university, and uh, we are just beginning our next semester's signups and registrations, and we were looking for information on Meredith. Is something wrong? Uh, she should be still with your system. I'm sure she would have signed up for classes already. Hmm. Um, actually, no. She she decided to take this past semester off. Um, Wait. What? Oh, I, I had assumed that uh, you would know. Um... Dear, dear, something wrong. No, I've heard nothing about this. We get messages oh. from her occasionally, every week, but um, just simple text messages, things like that. Oh. Are you sure she's... Is it drugs? Is it drugs? It's drugs, isn't it? <laughs> that is a good question, sir. I haven't... Honey, we're heading down to the city. Pack your bags. Perhaps you could text her and 
find her location. Good idea, good idea. Uh, we'll send a message to her right away. Uh, thank you. We'll, we'll try to... We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, we'll we'll get this sorted you. out. Yes. Um, sir? Uh, yes, yes. Um, if, if you hear anything from her, please contact us right away. Then. Oh, of course, sir. All right. He's going to hang up. Yeah, they don't know where they where she is, so you can go ahead and pose as a as someone sent by her family. That's her well. on the school. That works. Hello. Wait, who's this now? <laughs> someone at the university you're calling, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, right. Okay, yeah. So I'll call. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll just call. Hi, um, I'm I'm Meredith's uncle. Um, Meredith who? Family. Work. Sorry. Yes. Uh, Meredith. Uh, uh, Theodore's. Uh huh. She. I've, uh, she hasn't been in contact with uh, family. I wonder if something happened. Let me check my records. It just says she's taking the semester off. Um, if she's not at, if she doesn't uh, head back home to Vermont, uh, she might be staying with a friend in the city. Honestly, uh, if they can't get a hold of her, um, maybe you want to try contacting the authorities. Um, could you? Um, I'm perhaps you could give me a contact. Uh, I'm afraid I can't give anything like that out. If you go to the authorities, they should be able to contact the previous roommate through us. It's not something we just give out to anybody. Uh, maybe if you want to talk to her parents, they might have a phone number of one of her friends. I understand you're trying to help them out, but there's, you know, sorry, you have to go through official channels. Tell me then at least what uh, uh, you have her phone number on. Uh, Maybe it's changed. Um, she'll give the phone number for the apartment she had last semester. Do you like, this is the apartment that she had last semester. I don't know who lives there now. Um, but uh, the apartments change every semester. Sometimes they stay the same, sometimes they don't. Since so she took the break, uh, she headed out. Um, I'm not sure if the... Uh, it looks as though a different group moved in there. Uh, and the roommates went to different apartments. I can tell you that much, at least. Uh, thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, um, oh shit. Samuel, <laughs> Samuel, we'll come back with the information that, um, uh, it seems as though, um, the cell phone number isn't active. It seems as though, like, um, the, the texts that are going through are going through a website of some kind. I am going to. This is actually one of my specialties. He, yeah, he'll, he'll look. He'll like look into him. Like, here's the number of the cell phone. Uh, he'll like. I'm with his thing. He'll kind of spoof it, you know, for his dice roll while you're on the yeah. phone. There, he'll be like, "Nah, the the cell phone's not active at all. Like, you can't trace it." And like, it seems like the texts are coming into some kind of like website that's spoofing it out. So obviously, the girl is basically pretending like her cell phone is still active. Or someone is doing that for her. Yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh. oh. 
Oh, Samuel. Chronicle. Bug hero. I love it. Uh, um, with the records I was able to get, would that have said her roommate? Um, the records you had didn't have her roommates listed, I will say. But it doesn't mean you couldn't look into who her roommates were because you know what room she was staying in last semester. That's so if you true. wanted to keep on hacking, you could. I mean, you have access to their systems. If you really want to, you can get her roommates. Honestly, that she had last okay. semester. Yeah, I had her apartment, so yeah, let's, let's go. Um, her roommates were Tiffany Cruz. That's probably spelled badly, Tiffany. And Annie Belavante. Tiffany Cruz and Annie Belavante were the two that she was staying with. I recommend this time uh, <clears throat> pretending to be uh, someone investigating her disappearance from the fan, or hired by the fan. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to do is just cross-reference cross both these names of uh, obituaries from that time period. That should actually be really easy. Why, that is a very easy thing to find out. A Miss Annie Balavante has passed away. Okay. How did she pass away? Uh, the obituary says um, uh, accidental death, if you want to look up the obituary. It, it okay. doesn't give a lot of details. Yeah, no, that's actually Um... I was thinking, and actually, it does either the building or the fire, so that could actually be both. Um, Technically, the explosion, if it was accidental, or the car crash, or maybe accidental death be might accidental. be attributed. Like, they might not say horrible animal mall, you know. Too. Yeah. The murders are probably out of the window, though. Yeah, that's. Cool. Unless, so... unless the cops were hiding something really well. But that's, you know. Yes. It's time to see. Tiffany. Tiffany. You can find out where Tiffany is. She's okay. currently going through her semester. Um, I. I think that, don't they have, like, a grief or something, bone, something that happens to people? Uh, you know, counselor. grief counselor. Complimentary grief counselor. Yeah, and, like, probably, like, I think, like, they, like, do stuff for you at the college stuff, you know, like, that's why they did, they accepted, um, Meredith's break, you know, uh, but Tiffany's still yeah. going. Uh, she's also a, uh, uh, like, back end of her degree. So... Um, yeah. How are you, are you have her address and a number for that place. You call that location. It is in a different apartment, uh, in another building. Uh, s still within the college apartment sector. Um, okay. you can call it, you can go there. What do you want to do? I am going to call. Okay. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Ah, hello? Is this the landlord again? Don't worry. We're not causing any trouble. We'll keep it um, down. No, uh, I am a um, private investigator working for um, the parents of Meredith Theodorson. Who? Meredith Theodorson. You roomed with her uh, last semester? No, I didn't room with someone with that last semester. Wait, wait. Are you looking for one of the other girls? Oh, Betty! Yes, sorry, Tiffany! Just... Do either of you know about a Meredith? Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany! Tiffany, it's a phone call for you! 
It's a private dick. There's some giggling. <laughs> you can overhear it. He sounds kind of like a creep, but in that kind of good kind of way. Find out if he'll investigate my nethers. Shut up! Oh Shut God. up! What modern <laughs> college student would use the word nethers? nethers. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Whatever. Okay, Insert. Okay, we, we know you're a boomer at heart. It's fine. You're doing your best. <laughs> Insert more modern vernacular that oh, I prom. Man, look at my petticoats. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far. Thank you very much. Anyway. Darling, you're on your knees, Joey. You can't be doing that now. I, I wanted to also keep it, like, a little PG-13. Thank you very much. Anyway. PG-13 would be panties. Whatever. Or lingerie. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or just investigate me. Uh, tell him he can investigate me any day of the week. Woo, woo. Hi, this is Tiffany. Who is this? Hi. Um. Uh, my name is. Um... <laughs> Richard. Sorry. Uh... Richard Piper. <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Richard Piper. Um. <laughs> I. <laughs> I just realized what you did there. Uh... <laughs> Oh, God. Um, wait, wait, what was the name you gave? I was broken because of, you know, Twitch chat. Richard, Richard Piper. Oh, God. Richard Piper, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just going to put that. I am a private investigator um, hired by um, the family um, Meredith the Theodore's Um They haven't heard from her in a while. Look, I think she just needs some time on her own. I know she took it off this semester. I haven't really heard of her. Not after what happened to Anne. Yes, and that is um, calling me about. Um, family would like to get in contact with her. Um, do you know her current whereabouts? Or very least? Uh, sorry, no. I mean, like, I, I haven't heard from her at all since last semester. Like, she shut down after what happened. She got all strange for a while, and then when, like, she still managed to pass her classes, but, like, she was usually a really good student, and she, like, barely held on. I think it was just, uh, you know, the fact that she always was really great at studying that kept her going throughout the rest of the semester uh, after Anne's death. I mean, like, I, I was close with Anne and Meredith, but not the same way. The two of them hung out all the time. I mean, I think the police have reports on it, but, um, I mean, look, you didn't hear it from me, you, you didn't hear this from me, but from what I know is that, um, Anne had a penchant for exploring, like, old buildings and stuff and videotaping them, throwing them up on the internet. Um, apparently, uh... She drugged Meredith to some place to get her to help out with some of the filming equipment, and there was some kind of collapse. Now, M Meredith, for a while there, was confused. She was injured. Uh, she said something about like, uh, like a couple of bums fighting or something. I don't know, uh, like a like a fight going on that caused the damage, uh, maybe with guns or something. The cops didn't find anything about that, so I don't know. Maybe it was just, like, that she hit her head and dreamed of what happened. But, and... When, when, when things fell apart around there, Anne didn't survive, okay? Um, and I'm sure you've, you could see that if you go for the full report. And Meredith was rushed to the hospital. Um, I think it was a couple of days before they even ID'd her because she didn't have her stuff on her at the time. And even then, um... Look, the cops didn't take a lot of what she was saying seriously for a while, and she eventually did change her story. But 
I, I think whatever trauma happened to her there, whatever happened that when she hit her head, she saw something that she thought she saw, you know, that kind of thing, you know, dreaming up something, and eh, I don't think she was taken very seriously. They ever recover Anne's video? Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, it was crushed. Uh, they found pieces of it, but n nothing, nothing solid. I don't know if Meredith had anything left over. She never talked about it, and um, I mean, I, I'm sure she would have shared it with the cops if she found anything. Look, like, honestly speaking, I don't know what excuse that she gave to the cops why they were there. Sure, if she even gave an excuse to the cops why they were there. I think when she was talking a little crazy after her injury, they didn't believe her for a lot of reasons. And I don't know. I think that's one of the reasons that she stepped out, not only because she lost her friend, but because people didn't believe her for a while, and there was the stigma about her. Now granted, only in her close friends did we know about the kind of crazy talk for a little while before she got quiet, but I, I think it affected her. did she say? Again, it sounded like a couple of crazy gun-toting bums were fighting it out and caused the destruction. Um, I, well, I didn't really listen to her. I move very much like to get contact with her. If you uh, have a phone number for her that's currently active, or then a address, I'm sure. Unfortunately, I only have her cell phone number from last year. Uh, if, if it's the number her parents gave and she's not answering that, I don't know where to go to it. That's the only one I have. Have you seen her since uh, senior recently? No. Not since last semester. One more question. Do you know of anyone who she might still be talking to? There might be one person. Um, I, I, uh, she'll give you your number. Um, that's uh, uh, Billy Cohen. Stole that one. I know I stole that one. <laughs> uh, mm. Billy Cohen was. She was dating Billy around that time. I. I I think they were, like, on the outs when the incident happened, but they were still pretty close, I think, and Billy still was concerned about her. So, he might know something. I don't know if the, her parents knew about him or not. I don't know how much. They should Thank you for being here. I hope she's all right. And, and tell her we all still care about her, even after, I mean, the craziness. Uh, thank you. All right. Why don't we take our second break here? As, uh... You will. You have a, a, a old boyfriend to contact, and you have some more information. You now know which incident it was and some background. Yes. So, a uh, snack, drink, bathroom break. Go ahead and take them, and we'll back in a little bit here. That's to the nice. game! Right now, we're back. Hi. Game. I did realize where Billy Cohen was from. Resident Evil Zero. I probably spelled it differently. And you're welcome. But I remembered that I remembered that. You're welcome, Internet. Oh. Anyway, Billy Cohen. He's also here as a student at Columbia. That Meredith used to date. So, Emil, giving him a call? Or should I say, I Detective see. Piper? So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm giving him a call. Okay. Uh, 
Hello, what can I do for you? Hi, uh, Billy Cohen? Uh, yeah, this is Billy. Are you some kind of thing trying to sell me stuff again? Because look, I I'm tired uh, of these calls. No, uh, I, I am a uh, private detective working for the parents of Meredith Theodorson. Oh, Meredith, yeah. What's going on? Why would a private detective need to be involved? Well, he hasn't contacted them in a while, or at least, um, so, and uh, they hired me to track her down. Look, uh, look, Merritt was going through some trouble. I, I know that at the end of last semester, and, uh, look, um, I've, I've talked to her and seen her a couple of times. I, I know she's okay. I saw her, like, a month ago. Uh, we had coffee at the local Starbucks that she seems to like. I don't know. It was on, it was on, on a route she would take. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, going through uh, that area of town. Look, um, I don't know what's going on with her. Um, honestly, I don't know where she's staying either. She wouldn't tell me a lot. Uh, she was quiet about it. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with her. After after everything happened with the accident and um, Anne's death, Annie's death, she just hasn't been the same. And maybe she just needs time before she gets hooked up back with people. I know parents usually worry about things like drugs or getting into things like um, prostitution or pornography. I don't think she's getting any of that stuff. Um, honestly, she seemed clean at least, if you're talking drugs. And I... Mayor, she doesn't seem the kind to get into that other stuff there. Um, I think she's working some kind of part-time job or something. She was getting a couple of texts that seemed business-related. Um, Uh, no, no. Um, she contacted me on her old one. It looked like she had a different phone now. Um, that looked like a work phone or something. Like, a, an older phone. You know, uh, flip kind. I think it, I think she just was on break from whatever job she was doing when she talked to me. Didn't have her formal phone with her. But she arranged for us to meet in the morning, so... she works. No, she didn't say. I hope it's nothing shady, but I think it was more that she just, you know, she needs someone to talk to from her old life. You know, I don't know. Is this Starbucks office? Uh, he'll give you the description of a Starbucks. It's the one you, uh... Yeah, I, I, yeah. I figured. But... Yeah. yeah, um... You know. So she only ever contacts you, you never contact her? I mean, um... Look, uh, we were kind of on the way out anyway, uh, when the thing happened with Anne. I think, uh, Anne took her along to the... whatever they were doing, because we were kind of on the way out. Um, I really only stayed close with her at this point in time because, I mean, I still liked her a lot. And, um, even though we're not, like, romantically involved anymore, I, it, it was just kind of we grew apart, you know, over the last uh, couple of, like, the last year. Um, and, uh, I, look, I still think of her as a friend, so, you know... I haven't reached out, really. I know it's not great on me, but... You know, it always seemed like she wanted to keep her distance with everything that's going on. Did she ever tell you anything more about what happened? I mean, she had some crazy stories, originally. But... I haven't really... I, I pushed about it, and she said, um... I think last time she said anything... She was saying that 
she thought that someone was there. She doesn't know who it was, uh, you know, or anything like that, or what they did. But she thinks that um, it's because we were they were filming in there that that person did something, uh, got angry, and caused the collapse. And she thought that maybe that's why she thought the crazy stuff related to it. That, you know, you hit your head when something bad happens. And that maybe it was some kind of grip crime going down. And the person caused some damage to the structure, you know, that was already crumbling. Caused the collapse. Something like that. Uh, granted, I don't know if there'd be any evidence of that with the police, you know? Someone bangs a pipe into a crumbling wall and causes, like, a couple floors to collapse. Maybe that person only intended to, like, you know, scare them away and fall was more than they were expecting. Something like that. I don't know. Regardless, I think that's what she kind of believes about it now. Um, I don't know if there's any like evidence of it, or there ever will be. Um, Sent a text message to her. Would she go? Maybe? I don't know if she'd respond. Honestly. I could try. What, you want to try to meet at that uh, Starbucks? What should um, I say? Oh, that's a rumble. Some thunder. I'm not yet. Sorry. Um, look, honestly, I don't want to lie to her. And I don't know if her... If she would be very accepting of a private dick. Like, I, 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 I asked about her reaching out to her parents, and she says she sends a text to them occasionally. But I guess, what, they found out that she's not in school right now I, I I knew she didn't tell them that so I'm assuming that's what happened right yes the school contact give me a second here what's going on the windows downstairs closed I can't hear you I'll check on them in a little bit okay Sorry. There was a concerned uh, niece about kidding. this. <laughs> Stream niece. Ready for bed. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I know I'm she hadn't told her parents school. everything about what was going on. Um, like, I don't even know if they know about Anne's death. Annie's death. Honestly. I don't know how much she told them. She She's close to them, so I know she's been at least trying to keep communications open. But I bothered her about it. You know, because I don't know if she'd been talking to anybody but me. And that's the answer I got. I, what what would I tell her? You know, I don't know if she wants to be found. As much as I know her parents want to talk to her probably, wants her to come to life. How could this? Someone... Someone who knows about her new job wishes to meet her outside the Starbucks at midnight on it's okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't go midnight. That's kind of suspicious. That's true. Sorry. Uh, what's what's how early do we wake up at this point? It's still probably like I'm early rising. Yeah, so. you're probably still up at like maybe like let's say like seven ish. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. What to, I, yeah. I've lost track of what time of year it is. We can say it's like, yeah. I don't know, fall by now or something. So seven-ish is like not too... It's like the sun has gone down by then. Definitely. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say seven. All right, I'll let her know. But, I mean, honestly, you think that's going to lure her out? I'm going to say... I I'm going to tell her the truth that someone uh, working for your parents says... Got sent this message. Very well. That should be. They, I, if she thinks that, you're, that her that you're looking into stuff with her parents, I mean, she's gonna be. My, she might be concerned. I don't know. I think. I think she'll get. Me. All right. 
I'll send it along. Look, man, I, I think even if she doesn't respond, you just got to tell her parents that she's just figuring out stuff for herself. And that, um, at least someone that does still care about her in a way knows that she's okay. And I don't know if she's coming back next semester or not. I, it, it sounds like she wants to try to finish her degree. So she might push through. Maybe... Maybe she'll take part-time classes for a couple of semesters to finish up her degree. I gave that suggestion to her, but I don't know if she's going to take it. I don't know if she has it in her to do the full thing. Pass that to her parents. I just want to get... It's only for... It's only a message from I think they want to know it's from her. Are they hired? Yeah. And well, they're probably worried about the drugs and sex stuff, too. I mean, New York City, what, a, what parent doesn't worry about their parents going here and falling to the dark side? Plenty of stories about that over the years. Yeah, that was their fear, definitely. Um, anyway, thank you for the information. So mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. So you have now arranged a t meeting time uh, with theoretically Meredith. We can skip yep. forward to that. Who's coming with me? Because I don't think I want to go to a, a hunter, a, a, a location where a hunter is alone. <laughs> uh, I'll be there once I'm up. That's fair. I'll be around the area. Yeah, are there any bars yeah. near that Starbucks? Uh, oh, wait, you don't need to anymore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm better when people don't know where I am. So I'll be around. Cool. Um. Okay. So. Uh, you'll head for the meeting. Um, are you were? Did you say outside the Starbucks or at the? Um... Yes, out, outside the Starbucks. Mm hmm. Are you doing anything before you get there? What do you mean? Are you doing? Let are you me, doing recon? Let me no. Let me put it this way. Are what are you doing to make yourself? Uh you're going to be in close contact with someone that likes to murder supernatural beings. How are you not yes. looking supernatural? So I think this is something. Well, I, I I'm mean, first off, my. I'm I'm wearing regular clothes and I do have blush of life. So, oh, that's right. You have blush of I'm life hoping. naturally. Yes. Uh, I almost forgot you had that, which is helpful because that's what I was applying on. Because other vampires could spend a blood point to get your same effect for a temporary period of time. Yes. So I'm kind of just figuring that I look very normal compared to most people, <laughs> compared to most vampires at least. Um, the only thing is my burliness and slightly funky ways. I guess I'll wear a hat. Mm -hmm. So you're a big man, you're wearing a hat, you're just a normal Edward. Uh, I mean, like, uh, just, like, dressed like a normal person in a hat, then, I guess? Or, like, what? Yeah, I mean, like, um, honestly, my character tends to wear, like, cargo pants. <laughs> so uh, I'm probably just wearing... Oh, you should wear a trench coat. Definitely a trench coat. All the private eyes have trench coats. Yeah, I don't have any trench coats, sorry. I mean, I do at home, but not here. Here, use mine! Very well. <laughs> Does it even fit me? Uh... Actually, probably, yeah. Ryan's kind of a large guy, too, and you're a big guy, too, so I mean, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It fits you enough. I always pictured Ryan Swami. Okay. He's a big Midwestern man. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was ever described to me, so I just had this picture of yeah, no. this guy. He, he, he's like a big guy from uh, Minnesota. 
Got it. Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, yes. Well, then, I guess I'll wear his trench coat. Okay. Well, you got a trench coat on and a hat. Uh, you're looking very private eye, also shady, but again, that's very private eye. You look like a dick, is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Um, so, you'll show up at the location and wait. Um, um, eventually, like, um, someone in, like, uh, kind of, like, dressed in a hoodie and dark will kind of walk up to you. You the dick hired by my parents? What'd you find out yes. about? What are you looking into? Look, I'm not doing anything bad. Just tell them I'm alright and... Go back to school next semester. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Now this is where... How do I... Probably wouldn't have thought about this before, so this pause probably is uh -huh. okay. It's fine. Um, it's just there's okay. So I probably want to. So how honest and upfront should I be about? Him? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, once you find out what she is, and whether she is the person that she that we're looking for, I'd say as much upfront honesty is probably going to be worthwhile. Especially the hunter said we don't actually know that she is a hunter yet. Yeah, so that's, yep. that's the first thing, is figure that out. And... We don't know where I... Leslie is, because Leslie could just look at yeah. uh, her aura. I, I was actually about to say that exact thing. Leslie's and, probably and... still asleep, because he was using his early riser to get up, you know, a little before, like, like an hour before all of the rest of you, and then go a half an hour before the rest of you. Oh, so Nathan's not around yet either. Nope. At most, you could have Ryan. Oh, well. <laughs> so when I said that, I'd be have around, any around or... later. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably you're probably so nearby. So you get up. <laughs> Maybe you want to get her into the Starbucks or something. How late is the Starbucks open till? Probably pretty late. I mean, Starbucks are generally nine or ten at least. Yeah, nine or ten. So the Starbucks is probably open. <laughs> How about I buy you? Huh. You got ten minutes. Well, after the coffee, I know there could be a wait. I guess you'll get. Uh, she'll give you an order. You'll get in line, get some coffees for both of you. I assume. Yep. Uh huh. So, look, I don't know what you found out, but. I needed time to myself, okay? And I'm figuring things out still, and I'm doing okay. I, I know I may have stepped away from a lot of what's going on with them, and, you know, maybe I haven't told them all the truth, but, um, look, I, 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 got, a, I got a job, I, I got a place I'm staying at, um, I, I, I'm doing all right and I, I'm I Billy's advice about maybe going part-time for a couple semesters I think I can finish up my degree and then I don't know what I'm planning to do after the degree yet you know I, I will finish my degree though maybe uh maybe I'll come back home for a bit but I, I just need this... I need to figure some things out still. Well, perhaps more of a personal curiosity, but... What exactly happened? I'm only asking. No one believes me when I tell them any kind of story. They never did. I want to hear the truth. Look, I, I could... Crazy. Honestly, part of me wants to scream to you the entire truth of what happened that night. But, no. I, I, you're just some dick I just met. 
you. Look, maybe maybe you are all good intentions, but there's a paycheck for you. And I know that. And it was fucking real life for me. And it was awful and terrible. And a friend of mine died. And I got to see her crushed body. You know how traumatic that can be? Beyond what everything happened to cause that. But I lived. By some fucking miracle, I crawled my way out of there. I got out of that wreckage. Pushed my way out. Found my way out. And survived. Now maybe... I lost them. Maybe I was in great shape. But I survived. Mine burned to fire. But I want to know what you think. What I think is, I'm going to be honest. This is, this is as much as I will say honestly. I don't think it was an accident. I, I remember some things from that time. From the intensity, from, the, from what was going on. There was someone there. We, we were filming, and they did not like us filming them. And you know what? I don't know if they intended for everything to collapse on top of us, but I remember that person. And it just... I, 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 even if I don't know their face, them being there and the disregard for our lives, the callous disregard that caused all that problems. That I remember. And, and maybe I'm remembering things in weird ways, and maybe it is a head injury, or maybe there is something more to it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What matters is that my friend died, and I nearly did. I know, I know that person didn't mean for us to die. That much I know. Because I think, I think somewhere in there I heard the words. And maybe, maybe the, they didn't try to save me, but still, I don't know. I try to be angry at them, but... Maybe change the subject. Billy mentioned you had a mentor. Yeah. I'm. Look. I don't want to give the full details, but I'm just doing some deliveries. N nothing. Nothing shady per se. Rumble, rumble. But um, it's for a. Can you keep this between us? It's for a company that does adult things. I deliver stuff to locations where they're doing the film shoots. I'm not getting into anything. I'm not doing any films. I'm not doing anything like that. But when they need something from one place to another, something they're missing, something like that, I deliver it. It pays a little bit, enough to get by, to have the crappy place I'm staying at. job, a good job, perhaps maybe even a hobby. What are you getting at? I think you might be found the name of Pound the Rock. Who are you really? You're asking some weird questions. I not been hired by your friends. It's very rare. But first I need to know what. Know what? Do you know about the secrets of the next one? So 
up in here. <laughs> uh, okay. That's interesting. How would I go about with that one? Honestly. Probably good for you more than anything. Mmm. Too hot. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably is good for you in the end, actually. If you're talking about if there's strange things that are around us all times, sure. I mean, people see things. Maybe I think there's something unusual to what happened to me. Something a little bit that can't be explained. What, aliens, ghosts, monsters in the night cryptids. Maybe that stuff's real. Maybe I saw something that was uh, unusual. Maybe Mothman is what uh, broke me down. Crush, tried to crush me. About uh, angels. I don't know about that. Maybe. Maybe they're out there. Maybe an angel protected me. Maybe it screamed in my head, get up, survive, stay alive. I don't know. But I did survive. Blessings of God? Who knows? You don't seem like the type, though, to hear God. The pack to what I missed that last word. To hear God. No. No, but I'm pretty sure you are. Okay, wait. Um, I mentioned now, but I just need to know before I tell you anything. What happened? Before? We found a monster, and it did not like being found. See. Maybe it was Mothman or some other strange creature. Who knows? There's a lot of weird things out there. Whatever it was angry. Want to stop that from happening to anyone else? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure after everything was said and done, I could hear the crying. Crying of something that was saddened that we were theoretically, that we were crushed. I don't think it thought I survived. I don't know exactly what it was. Only that it... Maybe we startled it. I don't know. But it was there, and it wasn't just the building collapsing. Something was there. Something sad, alone, hiding in a building. Maybe it was some kind of monster. I keep telling myself that. I, it seems like it is. It feels like it is. It kind of gives a cold feeling. You're a little cold, too. I'm awkward. Not like it was. But you're strange. I'm awkward. I'm awkward. Hmm. Do you hear a voice? Do I hear a voice? Like I yours? Like yours? Of mine? Oh, like mine. Uh, hmm. No, I mean... 
Are you talking about what happened? I don't know if it was a voice, but something happened there. Something strange that saved my life. I think those... that rubble was supposed to crush me too. I found strength and power beyond what I thought I ever had in that moment. Terror at what I saw. A beast lashing out, crushing into the pillar that was next to us, causing it to collapse instantaneously, shattering to a thousand pieces. Striking in the temple. I was bleeding. I think Anne pushed me out of the way, or tried to, when the roof came down. Maybe that's why I survived. Partially. But that... At first it was anger. Anger towards what happened. I think that's what... I first felt. That's what kept me alive at first. Now... Now I can think about it more. Now... It really is some kind of... Weird monster out there. As I said, some kind of cryptid that I ran into. I don't... I don't blame it. I don't think it meant to. I think it just wanted to be left alone. And I don't know. Is there a place in it in this world? Who knows? Maybe there's not. Well. But you... You're something strange. And I think you know that you're something strange. So what are you, really? Who are you, really? Why are you here? Why did you get in with my family in order to try to find me? You're hunting me down for some reason. I don't like that. Now, right now, you're being all friendly. But I could call my friends. They might not be friendly to you. That is why we came to find That is why I came to find Because you are a friend. We need you to help us. Me in particular, or maybe because of what I see, what I know. That was what you said, actually. Hmm. Egypt. Something Why would you need me? Something big is coming. What kind of big? Not... Discuss that in the middle of our experience. But let's just say the world won't be the same when you stop this thing. And you're saying whatever you are, you'd like the world to remain the same. Yes. Hmm. Come back in a week. Same place here. I'll think about things. Maybe come with some more information next time. Same time. I'll also give you this. I hand her, I hand her a slip of my phone number. Hmm. Let her assign a good day. I'll give you any real. I'll keep that in mind. I'll do some research on my own. Talk to some friends. Nothing. Nothing dangerous to him yet. I know this. I have some friends who are not so forgiving. 
Don't want really to see much. the way I do nowadays. Keep the hatred, Amazing. keep the anger. Give you one more bit of info. Just to open up a bit. If you're curious as to what I am, that's just a the reason I had I had um, asked to meet you after some doubt. She'll think for a moment and be like, Really? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, how long have I been able to stall her? <laughs> I've been able to stall her more than ten minutes. Uh, probably at this point in time, sure. I'm just wondering if I'm working so. Uh, I feel like this has gone on about as long as the conversation has, so... Yeah. Yeah. And I don't... I, my room is not across from the Starbucks, so I don't think I'm there. I mean, you could have arranged yeah. to be resting somewhere nearby, maybe like in a van with Ryan in her or something. Policy in the back! <laughs> just keep you in a van. Yeah, I'm not, not taking that risk. <laughs> Last thing I need is some random New York girl to just slam into the car and suddenly... Ass up in the sun. <laughs> Sounds about New York. That's fair. Okay. Perhaps you, uh, I, I can arrange for a later meeting next time or something. If you want to ask about that, now's the time. Yeah, yeah I'll be like, and perhaps we we'll meet a little later. It's, it's a little hard to get there. About nine. It's close to closing. Probably less people. Very well. Maybe you can talk a little bit more then. I can find out really a lot more about you. Hmm. Which my goal is not to be tools, but I would be happy to just keep things secret as long as they are. I'm going to be interested to find out how much your stories I've heard are true. I'll judge for myself. You know this, I might keep uh, some friends on quick speed dial if things seem to go south. I'm sure I can convince them to be close enough to help out. Not tell them the exact reasons. Appreciated. Okay. <laughs> what? Let's let's leave this here. We still get some good progress. Uh, honestly, uh, yeah. I don't know if uh, we we uh, we'll see what we do next week. We're pretty close to the end. Uh, we've done some good jobs with I her. Grab her and drag her out now. <laughs> <laughs> um. You found uh, Meredith, and she seems to be the one that uh, you're looking for. But we'll maybe take care of her and uh, Detective Gerhardt next time, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm not sure next week will be the last episode, but if not, it will be the, the second penultimate episode. Because, uh, you know, we uh, a little slower than I was the hoping. The ultimate penultimate episode. Yeah, but we still did uh, good progress. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Let's uh, let's give shoutouts. I'll start with the uh, uh, carpet. Let's see. You're muted. Oh, can't hear you. The carpet DM at Twitter stuff here yeah. Wednesday nights. <sighs> Moving into a new house. Mm -hmm. Lots of work. <laughs> um. Worm. Uh, I'm Diamond Worm. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Diamond Worm and at Diamond Worm on Twitter. Um, yeah. Lately I've been streaming Warframe. You can add some other games, though. Uh, Umber. Maybe more days, too. Yeah. Leslie the Vampire, currently getting busy trying to hook up with a Fade girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Uh, myself, 
Uh, Death Rabbit Jacobin. I was originally going to do Children of Wrath tomorrow. I might not, because, um... I've been a little out of it if you haven't noticed the session because I've been a little sick for the pat for the half this week here. Um, so getting better, but I I honestly don't know if I'm in uh, shape. I was gonna do have it start this week, but I'm gonna see how things you are going tomorrow. From me last week. What? I said you caught COVID from me last week. <laughs> I, <laughs> who knows at this point in time? It's who knows? evolving. Yeah, no, it's a computer virus. Exactly. <laughs> that means you can cough, get it cough. even way up north. God damn, that's just not what I was saying. Mm -hmm. But, um... No refuge. Maybe, maybe that, that's up in the air right now. I'm gonna try to talk to people in that chat, just cause, you know... Uh, I'm very tired after this session. <laughs> I did not, like, when we hit the second break, I was like, I think I can go longer, but I didn't know how much of that, that last part there I could hit, so... Um... As soon as I'm feeling better, I will probably get back to that and to gaming streams, and we'll see about discussing tabletop on Saturday, uh, 2 p.m. EST if we do that, and then this game, 7 o'clock next week. Um, I'm plan for... We'll see how well it does. I Honestly, I do not know with the parts I would do, because I'd probably have, like, first break being uh, finishing up Meredith, maybe second break doing the Lieber. So maybe I'll do it two more sessions at this point in time, just to make sure I don't rush things too much. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how time with Meredith goes and the detective. I am entirely hopeful that we'll be surprised at how cooperative Liebner is. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to make it too difficult, because he probably would recognize you when he meets you face-to-face -face from the uh, <laughs> you know, from the auction. I mean, wouldn't he recognize me because I hired him to do stuff also? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Anyway, I'm going to get going so I can All right. relax. Uh, good night, everybody. Everybody, have a good one. Bye. Oh, Farewell. Sleep well.